Alright guys, welcome back. I, ah, I hate my PS Vita. Down. Damn it. Alright. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Sacrifice. We just took out the Elven Queen and saved her. Legendary Sorcerer. Which is awesome. Lots of items. The Cotton Maid's Wings awaken the magic of the Elven Queen to modify the caster's evasion. That's Summon an inchoate golem. Adorable, but immobile. And we will... We have An Anrock. It returned to its human form. Several days later, we met again, still possessing some of that monster strength. It joined me. Which is cool. Let's read the rest of the Her story. Her form was restored. I asked about the incident. She admitted her wrongdoing, saying, I'm sorry. See, the cool thing about it is, this might have changed if I had, like, punished her. And it would have probably been like, she had been sacrificed or whatever. Magusa spoke. Think of your victims. And think of what you can do to atone. Perhaps this will give the victim some sense of peace. We went through the ruins in search of traces, in search of whoever did this. We felt it our mission to purge this guilty beast. And yet, This would not appease the ire of the poor souls who were sacrificed by our hands. That's beautiful, I like that. But, as we all know, the human heart is not so simple a matter. Perhaps we felt the need to pray for the souls of the dead. How easy things would be if we could be rid of emotion. Not true. But we are not monsters after all. Well, I mean, the moment the bloodlust of my right arm overcomes me, I will transform into a monster. I know this because my prophetic partner has told me so. I have nine days remaining. Till he turns into one of My the only wish is to live as humanly as possible my few remaining days. If this is hypocrisy, so be it. Nine days until the end of the world. So he's writing that like when he when it takes over him. You know, it will be the end of the world, pretty much. Several days later... Nagusa clung to the toy that we found, holding it close. How deeply can memories come to affect us? How vividly they stay with us, even... If they are not our own. About now, the sanity of the author begins to erode. Could Sortiara's soul and the sorcerer's right arm be the cause? The journal describes the author's transformation into a monster. You have been warned. It's no pleasant tale. Destiny's past. That is the next part. Before that, I went to um, grab a tear from there. Hello. Have oh. you checked for droplets recently? Nope. That's why I'm here. Thank you. We have an option to fight Magrasar. So I guess once we have everything we need out of the book, we can. 
is kind of like a kind of triggery type thing where you jump into the final boss beforehand. But I still think it's wise to read through the and finish the journal and watch the whole turn into a monster. Dedication to my future self, the beast. Hmm. Oh, so broke to new. new. I can boost these too. No, I can't. Alright. And... Right. Do... Okay. No. Okay. Uh... I should change my clothes on. Right. Oh, look, we unlocked that. It's pretty ugly, but still... Oh, that doesn't look that bad. So we got one color for that kind of It makes me look like more like beast like, which kind of fits. So, I guess I'll wear that. It's cool that this is a whole like book, kind of like the uh, the Wizard's Companion in Nino Kuni. I loved how that was. And this seems really similar, which is pretty awesome. I'm digging it. But anyway, we're going to continue. That's the next chapter. Chapter one. Then I will have to kill you. Magusa proclaimed this when I very first met him. One day, a sorcerer would become a monster and slaughter many lives. Magusa saw the sorcerer in a vision and he searched near and far for this threat to life. Uh, so that was me, I guess. And who did he find? Me. At first, I refused to believe it. But few of Magusa's predictions are far off. The bloodlust in my right arm is so strong, it might overcome me. A monster appears before me. It looks quite luscious. Like a heavenly feast that has been delivered to my doorstep. That's a little creepy. Cyclops. Next battle. The bloodlust I inherited from Sortiara. Slowly eats away my humanity. My insatiable thirst for violence is proof enough. So, I mean, I was sad I had to kill Sortiara, but I kind of saved her, right? Because she would have went through this. I don't know. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, guys, if you're enjoying this series. I'm enjoying it a lot. This game's pretty awesome. Let's continue. Magusa had a premonition, one in which a crazed sorcerer stood alone in a ravaged world. He said the sorcerer looked just like me. Magusa had told me, had told no one but me about this premonition of the apocalypse. He says that everything will be fine if we can change the future. We have known each other. A long time. Oh. 
Where's that monster? I mean, it's like dancing. Ball stairs.
there's a lot of other side little missions that might help me out, so I'm gonna try and do that. Maybe get a little bit of stuff in to my character. Uh, level wise and all that other techno babble wise. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.